it's Lynx here. Today I'm actually I'm going to do something different than I haven't done before, but I see that many people have recently complained a lot about this new update with the horse bounding and I wanted to get more into my opinion with it and yeah and how it actually works because I know some people might actually be mad at it because they don't know how it works but yeah I will show you guys how this works so as you all know um uh what am I doing as you all know um these are the stuff we get like we can comment call the horse uh, but I think to unlock it you have to like click on them and I haven't done it with this horse so that is kind of perfect match that we took a level 15 horse I haven't unlocked them with but you have to click on these things it's not just expected to be unlocked by by itself but you actually have to click on it to unlock it as you can see it says unlocked uh, and then you click OK, basically. Um, so now we, when I click Q, you can see here that... Oh, I already got this. Maybe you don't need to click at it at all, but I just do that, just to be sure. Uh, as you can see, I'm riding my horse, and things I can do when I ride my horse is when I click pet, I can pet it like... Oh, uh, let's do it again. Uh, I can pet it like sideways here, and honestly, I think it's very cool. To be honest, uh, it can do its magic, as you can see. Uh, it's magic. <laughs> well, there is actually a magic button as well, but this horse isn't magic, so yeah. Uh, you actually get the opinion to call pickup, uh, but we're not gonna do that now. Uh, I'm gonna go off my horse and I'm gonna show you how it works. So sometimes you may have noticed that the horse actually kicks you off when you go off it. It just is invisible and then it just runs off. Uh, magically enough, my dark demon does not do that. See how many I got here? Uh, I cannot whistle yet, but I will explain the whistle later. First, let's take the comments actually. Uh, comment your horse to follow you. Uh, you can click uh, I, it will say what button you can click, uh, but uh, here I guess it's I. You can walk, as you see, my horse is frozen. That is perfect. I was just gonna explain it. I believe there is a glitch with the horse following you. Uh, but what you do when they in this situation is probably what you wonder. You stop the horse from following you, uh, go on top of the horse again, and then move it somewhere else. Um, let's see if he can follow me right now. Sometimes he does this. Uh, I'm gonna click yay. Yay. See, now he follows me. Uh, if you want to go far with your horse, I recommend you do not stop like this. Because that could actually make the horse freeze. Uh, which I'm also going to explain. When you go stop with your horse and your horse is standing on a bump, like I could like, I like to call it a bump. Let's go to, yeah, now he just, I think he stands on a bump right now. No, maybe not. But sometimes when you stop for over a longer time, your horse also will not follow you. Uh, why is that? I don't know. Uh, probably a glitch. Uh, but what you do is that you go on your horse and then you go off your horse again, basically. Uh, you can click I and see if it works now. As you see, my horse is following me. But as you see now, I go on a bump, as I like to call it. <laughs> and then I make my horse stop. No. <laughs> why did I do that? Uh, the horse... Are you gonna follow me now? Yeah, alright, you're... Uh, well, sometimes I think it happens if you stand too... Too long, or you... Or the horse find out something it stands in the way. <laughs> and it does not want to follow you from there. Um, but, let's stop talking about that. Now you actually also have to be in level 3 to get your horse to... Um... Uh, to lead your horse, which is also very cool because not all horses uh, wants to be led when they're new to their owner. I really think this update is very cool and it's very good for the change of the Star Stable. Although it is very scary, very new, it is very good 
in the future. And also what I want to talk about is that... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you stay in the way. God damn it. Also what I want to talk about is that... Uh, soon before uh, the... Oh my god. Are you literally gonna stay in the way of my camp? Alright, so what I wanted to talk about is that... We had scary updates before on Star Stable when the horse island uh, was um, changed out to... I don't remember what you call those boxes you put your horse in right now. But it had a horse island and that was also a very scary change because we didn't know if Star Stable were going to remove the horses from the horse line and we never get them back. But enough of that. Uh, that is just a similarity with this update. We think that something has gone wrong and it can never be fixed again. But I will recommend you to trust Star Stable on this update. That they will do something with that horse is gonna follow you. As you see, he doesn't want to follow me now because he stands in a freaking bump. And I think it's also because there's a lot of people around me. Um, Oh, why did I? No! Stop! Anyways, um, enough about that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Because I kind of want to do the whistle at the last. Uh, we also had these shared moment things. Uh, they will not come up immediately. The shared moment with your horse, you have to wait. If you click here, it will come up if you can have a shared moment with your horse. Here you also, I also see that I need to feed my horse and take care of it. Uh, and I think you actually is related to you getting the bounding things. If you feed your horse yourself and do daily, uh, uh, daily, ah, uh, what do you call it? Not English. Daily, um, take daily care of it. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. We just call it that. Anyways, um, I also gonna teach you what and how the whistle works because I know many people here struggles with the whistle and say that it does not work at all. It does work, guys. It does work. So now I'm gonna see if my horse will kick me out because we. No, he didn't. Um, yeah. Uh, sometimes you get the but. Uh, the, um, when you go off the horse, the horse kicks you off and then he runs off. Uh, but now uh, Dark Demon didn't do it, so if I just go far away from him, because he didn't do it now, so that means I can whistle to him, if you get what I mean. So now I click the U to whistle him. Now he doesn't want to whistle, he doesn't want to come now, which means now when I go on top of him and go off him, he will throw me off, because something spooks him. Anyways, now you will see that he will throw me off. Yeah, I told you. He will throw me off and now I can whistle him. So now he comes after me whenever I whistle to him. See? And when your horse does not come when you whistle to him, you have to go to him uh, or her or whatever your horse gender is. Uh, you go to that horse and you sit on them and then you just go off and he didn't throw me off this time so that means I can go as far away I want to go and I can whistle him uh, just wait till we get a far amount of space from him and I don't want to have too much space in case he actually does going to kick me off right now <laughs> but see now as I turn around I look at him I don't think you have to do that but I just all right he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna throw me off that's what I knew. He's gonna throw me off right now if I go to him. This is to prove that the whistling does not work when your horse is scared. And it actually makes sense because a scared horse wouldn't listen to your whistles. Although you're his owner or has a special bond to him, he does not gonna whistle. I mean, he does not gonna listen to you. But see, kicks me off right away. But now he has already done that. So now I can run back again. <sighs> Let's just go here, not too far. Um, and then I whistle him again. And now he's gonna do it again! <laughs> of course, he's gonna. Oh my god, it's gonna make you look so stupid like all these people. God damn it, I don't know what happened. But Bandicam 
went off and he came. <laughs> I guess. I, I think he came. But now as I run far away from him, he's probably gonna come. No, he's gonna kick me off. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, whenever you go on top of your horse and go, oh, go off your horse and he doesn't listen to you when he whistles, that's because he just runs off like a fucking storm. And that is where he's not gonna listen to you. Uh, you're just gonna have to keep on guessing if he's going to follow you or... I, I, I'm sorry if I use a lot of he right now, but that's because this horse is a he for me. So yeah, that is why I say that. Uh, I got a saddle here. I wonder if he's going to get scared now. Oh, do you get like a saddle mark? I'm kind of, I, I'm, I myself are kind of new to this, but I do learn very quickly. <laughs> that is for sure. Uh, yeah, now if I go off, he's gonna kick me off. Ugh, oh, the horse. Okay, so now I don't have the saddle uh, mark down here. Let's see if it works when I don't have the saddle mark down there. Uh, okay, come here, boy. Yeah, now he's coming. Uh, let's try to wait until the saddle mark comes back. And see if it works now. It does work now. Alright, uh, then we actually find something new in this video. When you get the saddle mark and you're off your horse, and you get this saddle logo right under your feet to your character. If you're obviously standing in this position, but yeah. If you get that, your horse is probably gonna kick you right off. Yep, he did it. But yeah, this just proves that the whistling actually does work. And I would recommend people not going too far away from their horses because <laughs> you don't want to get kicked off when you go on or you don't want your horse to not listen at all. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really gotten to see the, um, the uh Special, uh, what did it call again? Uh, yeah, shared moment thing. Uh, a shared moment is probably when, I don't know if you're gonna have to walk, I, I'm very new to that shared moment, but I do re realize that it comes up sometimes. I think maybe per five minutes. Uh, you have to like guess like around five to ten minutes in the game, you getting a shared moment. But I don't know if it comes earlier when you're running with your horse or doing something with your horse, ride it or anything. I don't know about that one, but yeah. Uh, very much when you're walking, some horses like the um, oh, what's it? the Euric Wild Horse will get a new other specialty. That you can click when you're walking, you can click that specialty and that horse will do the special thing. Let's actually call for pickup and uh, I'm very used to that way to call it, but oh my god, now we go off the horse. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very used to like calling pickup from the esque button. It still works though calling it from the esque button, but yeah, I, I will try to actually be more into the system of the game. Uh, I wonder now if you're gonna... No, I'm not even gonna try that, because I, I feel like he's gonna run off. Because uh, now he knows I'm gonna change his other horse, and then he's gonna kick me off just because he's going to be a jerk. Anyways, let's try it with my Jorvikan wild horse, and... Yeah, I will show you how it works. Uh, let's walk with her and then I click Q. Here you see the special movements while she's walking. And now I clicked on it and she's do her special movements. Keep it in mind that you're probably gonna have to be like in... Yeah, you're gonna have to be in a walking position doing this. Uh, as you can see, now I can click on it and now I cannot. Because I have to walk to get this to happen. And it still works from the button, you hold the shift and then you click W, for those who's used to that. So nothing very special has changed about Star Symbol except for you get a, another button for... Um, 
You just get new things to do with the horse. Let's see if she can kick me up. Uh, I don't think your horse, if it's not in the uh, level 11, as you can see, she's only in level 1 and has only this uh, a speak of content. Um, level 2, you get fast galop, but it's locked on her. Uh, level 3, you get lead rope. So keep it in mind when your horse is level 3, you get to lead your horse. Um, and also many people says that level 7, you're, you can actually whistle your horse. No, you cannot, because level 7 is actually follow state commands. Uh, companions, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, through the journey bright heart, we, you grow to trust, respect other. This bond brings your horse to confidence and strength and ways bright could never reach alone. Uh, states increased. I'm not sure what that means, but if you guys know any better what it means, then go ahead and explain it down below. Uh, friendship. Uh, what is this friendship? Gain self-confidence. Well confident you in you through the bond you share. You can sense the bright heart really loves and trusts you. This special content always brings forth shine. Uh, call command, guys. Call command is 11, uh, horse 11. Ah, what am I saying? Horse level 11 is where you can whistle your horse. So, call command is whistling your horse. Soul bonding. I believe this is where your horse actually do more. Like, I, I, maybe it's like when you get the, the, uh, Shared moment things. I maybe it goes fast. It, maybe the shared moment things comes faster when you and your horse is more bounded to each other. I don't know. Let's do it on a level 50 horse. And I can actually be right back for you guys so you don't have to wait as long as me. Because I don't think you guys want to stare at my horse in five minutes waiting for it to <laughs> uh, contact me. But yeah, I will show you guys how the um, shared moment things works. I'm not sure, he does not have it now, so yeah, I'm just gonna ride around, waiting for it to pop up, and then I will start recording it. So, be right back! Hello guys, I'm back now. And, as you can see, I got the um, shared moment. So, if I click Z, uh, dark, dark Demon seems to be finding a lot with the bit. Uh, stop and check the fit position of the bit. Uh, consider changing the bridle. Go bite less next time. Uh, consider adjust the rein length and of dark to become more comfortable. Uh, maybe we should stop and see the fit. As you can see. Uh, it comes, I think, after a half hour, actually. I think I waited a half hour for it to come. But yeah, uh, it does take a long time. Uh, another thing I want to show you guys with it, like we call the pickup. Yes. As you can see, I did it now with a call from the ESC button. Um, uh, let's go to his stall. Let's go in the stall. Where did I put him? Is there? Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's golden. His name it stands under golden. Uh, I don't know why it's not. Hold on. I don't know why it's not the. If we did that. Huh. Well, I don't know why it's not the stars beside it now. Maybe he has to be inside it? Uh, no. Let's click on him. Let's click on it. Oh. Um, if we just go ahead and do this. Um, Aaron Shorts, yes. Uh, now he's getting put in there. Maybe now the stars appear here. Ah, whatever. It's probably glitched there, but yeah. 
usually there will come up like a a stars beside this, but I don't know why it's not doing it now. Now, but yeah, as you can see, his stable name is in golden color. So yeah, that's pretty cool. As you can see, Brightheart does not have the same because she's level one only. But if your horse is level 15, they will get a gold go mark. A uh, golden mark. So yeah, and if you guys find this uh, video helping you through the new system of Star Stable, and if you have found anything else in the system that maybe you want to share, then may comment down below what you have figured out in these systems and yeah, I honestly want your opinion right now because I know many people has hated on this update. So after this video I will know if you still hate the update or if you just like it more or if you just like, yeah I can get used to this. The fuck was that? What the fuck was that all about? Anyways, yeah. If you liked this video, make sure to click that like button, please. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification. And if you have friends struggling with this type of update, go ahead and show them this video so it might actually be easier for them to work with it. And now I will just see you in, I don't know what to say, the next episode or the next video. But anyways, bye bye!